uh, it's a real treat to be able to see like Arsenal's Troy and also for me personally, Youngblood coming back into the scene now that he moved back into the scene. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's a real treat because is, is that I why he was gone him. for a while? He w he moved uh, to be with a significant other for a little while. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I am getting off. Pleasure, man. Let me go ahead and move in. Ugh. I got you, brother. Thank you, man. Are you good, huh? <laughs> I I have to sit here because my name's on the desk. That's that's how I get my superpowers. And I'm the one uh, who's going to take the second spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I think we've I think we've met a couple of times. Yeah, I, I think th we've met a couple of times. I've been gone. Mm -hmm. I've been absent. I've my bad. Definitely, uh, <laughs> I've definitely seen. This empty chair with the name. Yeah, on the front. And mm. I wonder who is that guy? Yeah. Who did how who did he have to pay to get his <laughs> name on the front of that desk? <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is Nick. Nick. I go by Loan. Okay. I'm I'm Nabil. Nabil, yeah. Lone. Neptune. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we played at Bracket in over Zalus a long time ago. Dude, when did I we? just got back in, yeah. Really? It's, who did you uh, play? Was I it, played Marth Mar Mario. Okay, okay. And you played Cheek Marth, because you were yeah. uh you said that. You were I, talking with Umbreon. Yes. Uh, Umbreon's a good friend. Yeah, I was. Uh, Umbreon came by UNT a lot. All right. So we're going to get this headed off with strong bad luck. Uh, these two have been going back and forth. And one of. Uh, there was a big upset later today. Luck going to losers because he lost to Chuy Juarez, which. That doesn't sound right. Sonic player, yeah. Yeah, that seems kind of. Odd. When, whenever I was here, that almost never happened. Mm -hmm. uh, Chewie was usually uh, usually got taken out by by somebody by that point, but that's pretty sick. Chewie's making some upsets, dude. Whenever I was leaving the scene, uh, Chewie was making some crazy things happen, and I was I would hear it from the shadows, and I wouldn't <laughs> believe it. Uh, but now Strong Bad, on the other hand, this is his second tournament appearance this year, mm. uh, so it's interesting to see. Uh, how he stacks up against some of the best, especially considering that you're seeing what essentially Dallas has as the offer. Diddy mm -hmm. in DFW. This is the guy. This is you want to fly this man out to your tournament just so you can get experience against this guy because there's two Diddies in the world. You got Brother June and you got Luck. Mm -hmm. And he, like you said, he's one of the most notable uh, Diddies out there. He is. He is up there with Arrow, with Junebug, and him himself, and all three of them have very different styles. Yeah. You're gonna see between Luck uh, of Texas, very aggressive, very good at using the items that he has, and really good at tech chasing, like we're seeing against Strongbad. He yeah. is really smart in the options that he chooses. When Strongbad is looking for ways to get out, choosing one of the options like Roll Away, uh, Banana's usually there, because Luck places it. Now, the other thing to keep in mind when it comes to luck is the X factor, mm -hmm. right? The luck factor. Because he can be down here at his last stock, and then something clicks. And then in one moment, he becomes the best player in the room that no one's going to be able to take out. And the question is, is luck going to turn on the X factor in this matchup? Because right now, he is down, and it is looking tough for him right now. Yeah, luck factor being like the Johnny stock, 4 p.m., very very incredible play that we see from Luck towards the end of these games. And nice recovery we're seeing from Luck. Ooh. Good tech chase. He just sat there. He was patient. And then getting impatient with the waft. He was mm. guessing that Luck was going to DI a little bit harder in, and he was going to be able to punish. But that missed waft is going to give Luck a very good chance at coming back, because waft being one of the stronger aspects of Wario's gameplay, it's a very good combo ender. So important that, in fact, you only get a charge once a minute. Mm. So you got to be using it sparingly. Now, Luck is trying to play a little bit more on the, I'm going to pick and at you and take a little bit of percentage here and there, here and there. Mm -hmm. And then he tries to find that big exclamation point. That was so good. And very well timed. Yeah. Uh, and like you said, a waft coming in every minute, it's one of those, it's that short amount of time that Luck has to keep this pressure up and try to get back into the game. Kind of like activating what you said, luck factor, like MVC3. Yeah. So just going straight for it, getting that power boost, going back in. Now, Strong Bad, though, has great positioning here. 
and he's going to continue to use these platforms and the aerial drift. And because the platform was so tucked in, Luck has to be honest with how he's going to get back up to the stage here. Great use of the wall jump, and now he's got another fighting chance here. But for how long? And from both of these characters, uh, Strong Bad very consistent with just tech chasing off of down smash, off of down throw. Uh, it can go straight into side B, uh, waft, or just any call out that Wario has. Mm -hmm. And it's just another thing that you're going to see from Diddy Kong. It's just really who's more consistent, who's getting these startups, who's getting these hits. So uh, the stage, very big question. Well, going for the traditional DFW starter, uh, mm -hmm. PS2. Uh, one of my favorite teams, personally. Mm -hmm. But we're not worried about that right now. <laughs> Luck looks like he's trying to get things started. Good. Great dash dance at the beginning. Uh, doing a great job just playing outside of the grab range of Strong Bad. And this stage is a very comfortable pick for Luck. Uh, when he was starting, uh, it's not like he was starting out, but on a majority of the times where he was at a deficit for his stage pick, he would pick PS2 because Diddy Kong can, has the ability to dash attack off platforms and get all of these big conversions. And it's a very wide stage, so it gives Luck a lot of space to start tech chasing. Ooh, Luck with the back air. And now he's, oh, now these guys are almost dead even though. This is, mm. this is tricky. Sneaks it in and mm. just a slight flick to the left. Too hard and Luck is going to fall here with that first stock, but he's not out. He's got to make a quick decision here and try to cut off options. Using that peel effectively is so smart for telling your opponent you do not get to pass go, not freely. Even there, mm. being able to see sick throw it, uh, the peel upwards, you're putting a timer and you're saying, strong back, you got to get here by this point because the gates are closing, my friend. Yeah, and it's just one of those things. At high level, Banana Peel is just one of those options you really need to take. Uh, it's probably one of the best things that Diddy Kong has, if not one of the best projectiles in this game. So the fact that he needs to use it at these dire situations is really just going to decide who the winner is. Ooh, Ooh. good snatch, tech I, chase. I no? was really expecting a waft there, but there it is, yeah. Double jab into it, no DI out, and that's gonna do it. But Luck quickly back on the contesting, not taking his foot off the pedal for a second. And these stocks are looking very back and forth from what we saw at the game before. It was just, I'm gonna combo you, and then now that I've come back to the stage and at low percent, I can take more risks and then take your stock. This has very much felt like a dead sprint the entire way through. Mm -hmm. And either one of these guys is quickly nipping at the heels of their opponent. And it's nothing but action from what we're seeing. It's straight. We're going to see if this combo goes out. And honestly, we really have to see just who can really get that big moment where I just immediately get the bigger stock lead, where I just get that advantage. Because right now, it's dead even. Nair is one of the best tools that Wario has for, for that soft hit that pushes out that is just enough. It, it feels almost like an aerial shine, but you could control the drift a lot easier. So in some ways, it is extremely scary. What is up, my boy Studebaker? And look at both of these players. They're very calm. They're, they know what they're doing at this high of a level, and they've played before, and that's a beautiful down or throw down of the banana peel straight into the slip and punishing with the board smash. This is great timing from Luck. Instead of opting for stage control, he opts to put Strong Bad onto the platform and abuse the short platform there. And this is that percentage lead that we're looking at. It's 82 to 17. It's something that Luck really needed, and it could give him the game. Luck Ooh. having trouble there spacing a back air. Oh, good job fading back with that fair to avoid the chomp and drop down up air. Luck looking primed. And that's the overextension. He went off stage and Strong Bad messing up a little, but the punish just wasn't enough. Luck with the projectile in, wave dash back, banana peel. Tricky business, dude. But oh, he does it! And that's what we're gonna see. Earlier, he threw out up throw and then immediately went into bite. Uh, but this time just went for the waft. And it unexpected finish though. Yeah. I would have to say, especially considering the tempo swing was so far into Luck's favor towards the beginning of that stock that it seems like a quick turnaround after flubbing the wave dash back peel that Strong Bad just started taking momentum and ripped it out, ripped victory out from the jaws of defeat. And you have to realize that 
the said number one, number two player of DFWs out of IMB. So yeah, and it's pretty early. It's not grand finals. Luck, I love you. This no, is luck. Happy. Luck is frustrated. It's it happens. I it. it <sighs> this is something that hasn't happened in quite some time. Wop is fun. Yeah, it's because for the past. I think 25 infinities and beyond, we've seen just luck be in win from winner's side just consistently. So it's really, it's an upset. It's, it's a big crazy. upset. But I mean, if there is anybody to take him out, I mean, it's definitely gonna be one of the best out there. Best in the business. If not one of the creators of the game. <laughs> but all that being said, uh, I'm excited to see some Shokyo action. Uh, coming up shortly. There is, it's always entertaining to watch some of the top tiers going at it because you get to see the, the subtle things that each one of them have picked up. Because mm -hmm. this is like, yeah, you get to see IAB, but watching the progress that happens behind the scenes, going, being able to, back in the, for me, being able to go back to Overzealous, being able to see all these guys and grinding it up, man. I'm, a, I'm, I'm talking, I've seen Overzealous from back when it was like, this tiny hallway <laughs> and it was nothing but rows of people just all sitting up next to each other incredibly hot no you could barely breathe in that place but zale being the incredible host that he was still throwing it what making a it, having like free mm. pizza for everybody cash prizes to everybody and then he gets the new squad